So we are here in Stork Factory X with the brand new 9.5 update. Today I will show you nearly absolutely everything that came out in the new update. So let's just go ahead and get straight into it. So as you can see, um, update in the shop, it says new right here. You go straight into there. Candy shop, right here. So you can get candy via dungeons by killing mo uh, mobs, bosses, I'm pretty sure you can get some chests. And you can buy a random boost, any boost. I'm pretty sure it gives you just one of any of these. Boost up here, oh yeah, there are new boosts up here. We'll get into that in a minute. You can buy a random sword. Um, I don't recommend it. I bought one of these, it's just legendary. I regret it. Candy upgrade. Just, uh, it says it right here. You get to raise the chance of candy dropping from enemies that you cur that you kill. Rare mold slash quality. I haven't gotten this yet. I'm just gonna assume that obviously gives you like a rare mold slash quality, like hollowed, as you can see right here, or some other rare quality, like desirable. You can buy impossible artifacts in here now, which is kind of neat. That does get into the really interesting stuff. Arachnid sword, one of the molds that was released in the previous Halloween update. Uh, there's no way to get it pretty much. And now if you go to the index, it's right here, Arachnid. 203 million times value. And pretty much the only way to get this is by getting it through the candy shop. 7,000 candy. Then you have a 33% chance for it to be cracked. So about a 1 in 3 chance of the sword being cracked and having 100 times value. Or the 50 times. I don't remember, they've, they've done some changes with cracked swords. Fourth Ascender. You can get the Fourth Ascender without having to pay Robux, which is kind of neat, but it does cost 18,000 candy. So if you do want to get that, it's going to take a lot of grinding. Then this is probably the most interesting sword in the whole update. The Alpha Sword. You get a sword, the Alpha Sword. It has a serial number on it and 100 times value, and I would assume this would be absolutely great for the trading market. This will be, it will have great value in the trading market depending on the serial number, so people are racing to get these as fast as they can. I don't plan on getting these either, they're just expensive. But it's 100 times value of an arachnid sword. As you can see down here, it says 203 times value, 203 million times value, but 100 times value right here. All right. Let's head over to the boosts. So we got Candy Luck, self-explanatory. It gives you better odds for getting candy from dungeons. Dungeon Luck gives you better luck in general for dungeons. Let's scroll down a little bit. We got Artifact Luck, gives you better odds for better artifacts and more artifacts in general. I go open them artifacts menu here. I already have 17 legendaries, so it shows that it can be useful. I haven't gotten that many impossibles though. We've only gotten one total. And, alright, that's it for the shop. For this next bit, we're gonna head over to the graveyard. So, we need to go into the hollow tower. We gotta wait till night though, so we'll be back in a minute. Alright, here we go. Let's head over to the new dungeon. Well, not new, but dungeon. And hopefully, we'll get a hollow chest. God, they, they gotta add a skip cutscene button for this cutscene. Alright, no hollow cheat. Oh, no hollow chest. I'll let you guys know whenever we get one. Okay, so this is the hollow chest. It is the exact same as before, except now it has like little red particles around it, which is kind of neat. And they have been buffed a lot. If I open this, okay, I didn't get very lucky this time. Genesis plus plus, but still, it's a lot better than normal chests and how hollow chests used to be before. Alright, now, if you click over to the backpack, you'll notice that you can get more keys. We have the hollow key, has not changed at all since last update, still opens hollow chests. Now here's what's new, darkness keys. These, these open darkness chests, which are meant to be better than hollow chests, but I still feel like hollow chests are the best. They just drop better stuff in general. I'll pull up a video of what a darkness chest looks like right now. All right. So this is a darkness chest. 
Um, you can get darkness chests by opening them with darkness keys. More rare than hollow keys, but I think hollow chests still feel better. We open this. Yeah, it's just a new Genesis. That's plus. No, those would be. Those would be really good pre update. But now nah, they're not good. Now, this is the evil key. This opens evil chests. I do not feel like getting a video of one right now because they're pretty rare. But you can recognize them because it's a chest that has orange smiley faces appearing around them. So, use that to your advantage, I guess. But I still think hollow chests are the best in the game. But if you see one of these, let me know what you get from one. I'm curious. I've never gotten anything good from them. And no, the PvP area has not been fixed yet. I don't know when they're going to fix it. Probably not anytime soon. I guess we'll find out though. And finally, now we have a new enchant. So at the very bottom, now we have Judgment Plus, which you can expect. Judgment, but instead of 5%, it's 7.5% per level. So if you have a good value store, you, you can whip up Fortune Plus and Judgment Plus on it. You can get a lot of XP and money out of that. Finally, we're going to move on to the rarities. So, we've had Abstract, we've had Classified, we have Genesis. Now we're going to get on to the new stuff. So we have Exothermic. Um, I think it's a cool name, but I don't really like degrading it very much, personally. Next, we have Phantasmic. I like the name. Again, same thing as before. I don't really like the gradient for this. I guess it doesn't really matter that much. And next is Elemental. I love the gradient for this, and I love how it sounds. This is probably my favorite rarity out of all the new ones. And this is the first one to go up to plus 8. Ne next is Symbiotic. Sounds cool. I think the gradient's okay. Pretty sure this goes to plus eight as well. But with the last rarities, the last rarity can't really view all the way down for some reason. We should probably fix that soon. But that wraps up for the update pretty much. But I do have some knowledge about what's gonna be coming up next. In next update, or next patch come out tomorrow, we are going to be getting some dungeon revamps. A harmony plus enchant. And I'm pretty sure that's it. If there's anything else I forgot, it'll probably be up on screen right now. But that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, or if you found the video at all useful, comment down below, like, subscribe, anything. Any kind of support is appreciated. Bye, guys.